Hey, good morning, everybody. I'd tell you the date, but I don't even know. And we're at mile 390, so the goal for today is obviously hit that big 400, but we're also going to try to put out a 20-mile day today. Slept pretty good, helped, feeling pretty good. Um, got some kind of bite or something on my my thigh. We'll, we'll keep that off camera, but uh, the swelling seems to be going down. I think it was a bug bite. I thought it might have been ingrown hair, but I think it's a bug bite. I think one of the little buggers got me. But I had a good night, slept well. Got up about 5.30, it's about 6.15 now. Got all packed up, packs on my back. Took a couple of ibuprofen 800s, <laughs> some caffeine. And we're gonna hit the trail, so we're shooting for 20 today. Just wanna say hi to everybody at home, and I wanna thank everybody for watching these vlogs. I hope you like them. Um, wanna put out something that's interesting and entertaining and kind of just an escape from your everyday, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, this is, this is crazy. Uh, I cannot believe I'm almost 400 miles into the PCT. Um, I can't believe it. And it's just such a great way to end a career and close a chapter and start a new one. And just Allison, Savannah, Sydney, I love you. My mom, Jeff, Susan, Ken, uh, everybody out there, all my family. Love you very much. Appreciate the support and everybody watching this video. Thank you for the positive comments. You push me up those mountains. So have a great day and we'll get you guys later. See ya. Hey everyone, coming at you from mile 400, like 0.2. Um, so I didn't turn on the camera and get a video of the 400 mile marker because I was a little pissed, a little bummed out, but I did take some pictures so Allison can put the really cool photo in there. So I got up to 400 and I thought, you know, a good time to take off the shoes and air out the feet and I took, I just felt like I needed to take the tape off my heels. I've been dealing with some pretty serious blisters on the heels for a while now, and it's not the shoe, it's just the weight and the pounding. They're not rub blisters, they're, they're pinching blisters from your where your heel pinches down. And Long story short, I pulled the, heel, the tape off and half the flesh from my, my heel came off. I'm, when I mean half the flesh, I mean like big chunks, like as big as like a, like a dice, like a die, you know, like gambling die you roll big chunks of flesh were attached to the tape when I ripped it off looks like somebody took a jigsaw and cut out chunks of my heel so it's really bizarre I can't even really explain it it doesn't feel very good and it's just kind of kind of got me off my game so I, I just wanted to I taped them back up and threw my stuff in my pack and just left but that's why I didn't get video but we'll uh I'll, I'll baby them I'll take the tape off at night and let them air out and, you know they got just a little disconcerting but uh no one looks at your feet anyway right let's get some trail hi right, guys all right for the reasons of uh, disc space until I get to the next town I haven't been videoing a lot on trail but I'm at 402.4, .4 and it's uh, the 8th of May. I just wanted to show you this part of the trail. It's actually pretty cool. I do believe this is Highway 2 uh, that's down below me. Kind of cool. 
cool, huh? Kind of skirting the side of the road there. Alright. Do some later. Alright, well I came around the corner and this guy scared me to death. Oh, right in the trail. I almost stepped on him. Come on, make a noise for us. Oh, going under his rock. There we go. I can't even see him in the... Oh, there he is. That was the closest to encounter so far. <laughs> oh. All right, hey everybody. Anybody know what? Anybody know what mileage marker we're at? Four seventeen. We're at four seventeen at the Mill Creek something or other fire station in Palmdale. Um, started out not being a really good day. Um, we're gonna lose JP for a little while. So yeah, he took a a near spill couple of days ago coming down that big descent and it breaks our heart we we think he's uh think he's got a stress fracture yeah which if that's the case he's off trail but we're not we're not sure yet pain's not going away symptoms are consistent with you know. one of the bummers trails mean yeah but what we did is uh I was able to reach out to a total cool guy, uh, my area partner for five years back in Holiday City and yeah, Mill, yeah. Mill Creek uh, Township, uh, Jim Jepson. Uh, I texted him. He's coming out. And he's going to take me into act. Yeah, before I even said anything, he says, what do you need, brother? I'll be there in an hour. So he's on his way up here. He's going to take JP and run him down into Acton, get him uh, get him settled into a hotel room, and then uh, he can go to the clinic and at least get it looked at, get an X-ray, at least see what's what the problem is. But he's also bringing up a bunch of food, which was really killer because there's a bunch of hikers up here. There's already a bunch of trail magic up here, so I'm gonna. I just wanted to give everybody kind of an update on what's going on with JP. Is uh, um, little John and I are going to continue. We're probably going to night hike tonight. So we came off the hill. Um, about a 12 mile day so far to this Mill Creek something or other fire station where they advertise water. Uh, from here on out we got a 25 mile dry carry which is tough because it's getting warm. But we came around the corner and we met this gentleman whose name is Capico right. from Burbank. Right. And I just want to give a huge PCT shout out to him because look what he brought us. All right, hey, hey let's, let's, let's hear it for Capico, all right? Yeah, man. Thank you, Yeah, so he... Uh, Okay. He, he hooked us up and we've never even met this gentleman, but I just want to tell you thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for uh, it's uh, that stuff's worth its weight in gold. So thank you so much. So there you go. The kindness of strangers. Look at this. Check it out. Bittersweet. Nice to have a spread like this. Nice to see my buddy Jim coming up. All right, everybody. Hey, we're back. And I want to give a huge PCT shout out to somebody I haven't seen in a while. A lot of you will recognize Elroy. But uh, so what happened is we were up on top, and uh, as you guys know, JP JP's in a bad way. He hurt himself. We got to get it. We had to get him off mountain. And I'll tell you what, it was so cool to be able to just type in a number and have a familiar friend just type back what do you need I'll be there in an hour so Jimmy Jepson aka Elroy and he already did give me a hug and he told me that I he stinks yeah. <laughs> he smells bad so yeah they all do but you know what was so cool what was so cool is I just texted Jim and he answered yes and I said we need help and he said what do you need I can be there in an hour 
So that was pretty cool. And I want you to know I love you and I appreciate it, my friends. I really do. I know that man appreciates it. So, but Jim brought us a bunch of stuff. He brought us a whole cooler full of. Uh, he, he brought chips and he brought drinks and just as you ever you know you can just look at all this he hooked us up so he even brought swiss rolls and just awesome stuff so huge shout out to jim yeah he doesn't live super close he jumped in his car loaded it up and and uh in fact allison texted me allison texted me says you know you know jim's coming to bring you food right and i said yeah i've been talking to him and she goes he just sent me a picture of the shopping cart you guys are hooked up or something like that so yeah. very cool thanks brother yeah. welcome hey everybody for the video one last hoorah for our trail angels yeah. Yeah. these two guys right here thanks guys appreciate it okay buddy hey uh good to see you again little john and i we're gonna keep hiking we've got a 25 mile stretch with no water 10 miles straight up so we're gonna do it at night but looking back that building over there comes another hiker but that building over there is the uh, mill creek fire station they had an outhouse and they had water so that's where uh, jim met us and that's where we said goodbye to our friend but it's just a testament to what this trail can do a lot of people are, a lot of people are done some just quit some uh, some get hurt and at any moment it can happen to any of us so uh, the, the odds of a successful through hike are stacked against us but we're going to keep going so we're going to hike through the night and we'll talk to you guys later